welcome to part four of my wanderlust series if you're new here welcome so happy to have you this month and a half is very crazy for me travel wise i not even express how much these opportunities mean to me and how much fun i'm having doing this whole series so just got back from a really really incredible trip with one of my best friends tegan we centered a whole trip around the tucson gem show which is a very very famous gem show with a million billion beautiful crystals i have my own crystal business called pretty crystals uh that i opened out of a love for <laughs> pretty crystals and all the things that they did for me. I sell crystals for healing, happiness, and harmony. And we went down to Tucson to get a bunch of beautiful crystal babies. Also stopped in Joshua Tree on the way there. And then on the way back, we kind of stopped in Sedona and had a really, really beautiful experience with some alpacas, I might add. So very cool stuff. So right now I am heading to Bali. I cannot even believe it. I've had butterflies all day. I'm already riding on a high from being on this amazing trip to Sedona, which is like the most high vibe place I've probably ever been in my life. Now I'm riding on the high of heading to Bali for a retreat with a group of really, really fabulous gals. I haven't met anyone yet. But of course, like there's always a little bit of jitters involved when you're doing something new and especially like by yourself that you don't know anyone but it's gonna be a fabulous life-changing experience. I just can feel it already. I wanna take you along for this ride, of course. I am, again, so happy and blessed to have you here with me on this journey of mine, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Hopefully, change my life forever for the better, you know? Always, always wishing for that. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's it. Let's go to Bali. I'll tell you the story about my finger later. <laughs> Very sad. Here is my airport outfit. I have this comfy tank on that I actually did get in Venice Beach. I have some green Lululemons on because these are the most comfortable pants in the whole world. I have flip flops and that's really it. I have my necklace too that I've been wearing every single day. Suitcase is out by the door. I just got this guy at Target today. I'm so happy I did. It's gonna be the perfect perfect, perfect, perfect carry-on bag. So, oof, these have been saving my life. I could tell that I was getting sick at the start and then these literally like saved my life. I am probably running late, so <laughs> we don't wanna do that for an international flight. So, grabbing my jacket and let's skedaddle, you guys. Here we go. just landed in Taiwan. I am soaking up the sights of this airport. It is cray cray. It's so stinking fancy. Flight was good. It was a whole 14 hours. I did sleep about half of it, so that's good. So yeah, now on the hunt for coffee, my gate, and some eyelash glue to fix this mess we have going on. Looks like we've got a Hello Kitty plane. How cool is that? We're boarding soon. Thank you, baby. 
beautiful bedroom. I'm literally like still not <laughs> over this. I can't even talk, I'm like speechless. Oh my God, where's the light? It's like a whole oasis in the bathroom. Oh my God, I can't, I can't. Yes, there's another bedroom down there. And then we've got this like lush ass oasis over here. Oh my goodness. So literally the first thing I did was take my makeup off, which feels amazing. I washed my face and now I think I'm gonna hit the pool outside. They're all so tiny. It's Bali day uno. It was literally insane to wake up here today. This is my view. I'm pretty sure I showed you already. But yeah, waking up today, I was like, Am I living in a freaking dream? It's insane. Luckily, my jet lag is non-existent. I feel good, I got a good night's rest, and we're all good to go. So this morning, it's already been like such an epic day. I wanna tell you all about it. We got up, we had this breakfast. There's a few really sweet women here that are doing like the cooking and cleaning for us, which is such a blessing too. So they made us this glorious breakfast. There was like watermelon juice, orange juice, fresh fruit, dragon fruit is my new obsession. It was so good and so beautiful. And then we started our first kind of like group coaching session. So I don't really think I spoke too much about like the girls who are putting on this trip. I definitely want to go into that a bit more at some point. So basically they are two really amazing gals do online coaching. So we are lucky enough to be getting a lot of like one-on-one -on -one slash group coaching sessions. This morning we did our first one. So it was amazing. We all sat around we did some special meditations we did affirmations um we kind of went around and spoke about what we were grateful for and what our affirmations are just really really special and really really like i don't know intense a lot of times those things get kind of intense and emotional and you feel a lot of stuff but then it's like so good and it's a nice release and just creates those really like special bonds with the people that you're doing it with so it's me three other gals and then the two gals that are putting it on. So six people total. Uh, so it's a nice like small intimate group. So anyway, we did that this morning. Then we had um, a little workout, which I'll put in some footage here. Oh my God, it's so hot here. I was sweating bullets, uh, but it definitely felt good to get a good workout in. And then uh, we had a nice little lunch and now I am in my room and chatting it up with you. So we got this special bag that I kind of wanted to open on camera. So I did open up already this Sage and Palo Santo because we used it this morning. We actually wrote down like four different things we wanted to bring in to our life on the Palo Santo. And I did relationships, which is one of the biggest things I've been focusing on and talking about 2020 is my year to like really bring in really close, lovely like female relationships because that has been something that is um, or has always been difficult for me. And how beautiful is this piece of sage? <sighs> smells so good. And we also got this journal that we like wrote everything down in this morning, like the affirmations and such. funny that uh, this is in here because like one of my biggest things is working on my confidence 
throughout this trip and tiger's eye is known for confidence so that is really cool that now i kind of have this uh literally in my back pocket is everything in the goodie bag so we're doing another group coaching session at two i think i'm going to try to take some little videos for instagram of my crystals that i brought here because i definitely brought a few to take some pics with i think that's it for now i'll see you later day two today we have our outing so we're going to a ton of different places i've got my outfit on honestly i should probably steam this but i forgot that you need like a different kind of plug here which i didn't bring so jokes on me i can't really steam my dress but oh well it's okay i started this book yesterday and it's actually really really good and this is my fanny i also put a band-aid on my poor little nail because i'm embarrassed <laughs> and then i think i'm just gonna wear these little puppies and uh we'll be good to go bye thank you <laughs> you, you won't understand <laughs> <laughs> you're not cool enough <laughs> All right, we stopped to get coffee, but I'm not really sure why it's at a KFC. They have coffee here? Yeah, it's like a little coffee place. Oh my god! Yeah, there's a regular chicken. That's so interesting. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> She's pretty. Oh, she's not scared at all. No. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> this is really steep. Back up. This is probably the worst part. <laughs> we got a little bit of rain. Came at perfect timing because it was just when we left the waterfall, but now we're at this like really cool spot to eat some food. Holy shit, we're like literally in the jungle. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that up there. That's so fucking cool. Skill, actually. <laughs> Yummy. It's so cool. I'm grateful for the experience that we get to do today and all of the beautiful places in Bali that we are to check out and experience. And I'm grateful for um, the safety of the space that's been created here. Um, I really, really am grateful for that. And I'm grateful for my business. Woo -woo. <laughs> grateful for each one of your unique gifts and talents and personalities that you bring to the table, to this group, literally the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I am grateful that we still have a lot more time together. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Heading to 
the water temple. I'm a little nervous because you're supposed to be like super covered up. The driver like let me borrow this. It's the wrong thing, so that's probably what we'll do when we get inside. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Maybe later, yeah. Oh, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't need it, it's okay. Okay, okay. Later, you try it. Okay. She made me. <laughs> you wanna? I don't know. Should I eat it? Is it good? If you're done, you can just get on the plate. Should I eat? You want it? Of course, you can eat it. Did you pay her for it? No, she just made me take it. She's gonna charge you for it when you go back. I know. Give you three. All right, now I'm all covered up, well at least somewhat, <laughs> and uh, we're heading to the temple. <laughs> <laughs> Holy water. Yes, getting those grand picks. If I want to swim in there, I'll put it. Still in your ear